But butterflies are also known to be particularly sensitive to changes in their environment. So it's perhaps not surprising that, in the past three decades, they've suffered the most dramatic collapse in numbers since records began. Indeed, more than three quarters of the 59 species found in the British Isles are now in decline. Some butterflies, which were until recently regarded as common, are now believed to be joining the list in need of protection. To help get an accurate picture of the state of our butterfly populations, the charity Butterfly Conservation and the retailer Marks and Spencers are asking the public to help. The idea is for adults and children to spend 15 minutes in gardens, woodlands, fields or parks during Save Our Butterflies Week, which starts today, and to make a record of the butterflies and moths that they see. Conservationists are especially interested to understand whether the recent spell of warm, dry weather has allowed butterfly populations to recover following the wet summers of recent years. Organisers also say that butterflies are good indicators of the state of habitat for other species and that the findings of their survey will be an important health check for much of the nation's wildlife. Jeremy Cook, BBC News. A review is launched into how John Venables was supervised after his release from jail for murder. The killer of James Bulger is back in prison after admitting downloading images of child abuse. When you've got such a consistent level of ineptitude and incompetence, one has to have some concerns, and that's why something much more fundamental needs to be done. Two American servicemen have been kidnapped by Taliban insurgents in Afghanistan. A new call for universities to offer degrees better suited to the jobs market. Sebastian Behind. Vettel, what a lap! Flying high again, Can Red Bull and Sebastian that? Vettel take pole position at the He's German Grand Prix. One. Good afternoon. The Ministry of Justice is reviewing the way John Venables was supervised after his release from prison for the murder of James Bulger. Venables was jailed for two years yesterday for downloading images of child abuse. At the Old Bailey, it emerged he was arrested in 2008 for a drunken fight and later for possessing cocaine. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Tai has this report. John Venables will spend at least two years in jail after admitting downloading and distributing indecent images of children. But questions are being asked about why he wasn't recalled to prison sooner after being arrested for a drunken brawl and possessing cocaine. The Ministry of Justice has ordered a review of how Venables was supervised, led by Sir David Omand, who was once director of the British intelligence agency GCHQ. He's a former permanent secretary at the Home Office and in 2009 conducted a review into the Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs. The solicitor for James Bulger's father says some very senior people made serious mistakes that now need to be examined. Well, I think the people at the top have to take responsibility, the people responsible for operational performance, for strategy and management, rather than the foot soldiers in, uh, in uh, uh, public authorities. And uh, it will be very refreshing if, if uh, the people at the top actually took some responsibility. It's 17 years since Venables and his friend Robert Thompson abducted James Bulger in the Strand shopping centre in Bootle. Today, probation experts say it was right to give them a second chance and Venables' problems with drink and drugs are not uncommon among young people. I think it's really important to say that somebody out, anybody out in the community on supervision, it's not prison. He would have had a great deal of contact from the probation service and certainly from the outset and if risk factors uh, arose that could have been